right, so as far as this living room goes, I think I have the layout figured out. Ignore all of these random accessories and artwork everywhere and lamps. I have just have some things piled around that I'm going to be using and or painting here shortly. I'm running out to get paint today. I placed an order from Walmart for pickup so that I could use my time doing other things. I really love that service. They usually do a good job. Sometimes, you know, I'll get things missing or different things, but it, it saves so much time. So let me show you how the living room is looking and how I have changed it so far. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the lighting. It's very bright outside and I need a lot of lamps on that side of the room because I removed two uh, canned lights or recessed lights that were over here. They were not lined up so I got rid of those so I like to have lamps there and whatnot anyway those two bookshelf towers were here on either side of this entertainment center I bought two of these at different times I bought basically that at a thrift store for I think it was 150 I can't remember so I got two towers and that centerpiece but it was missing the top centerpiece which is really heavy. <laughs> then I found another complete set on Marketplace and I purchased that as well because you cannot even buy a cheap bookshelf unless you go to maybe Ikea, which I've never been to Ikea, but it's really hard to find anything, especially that looks like this for those prices. So I moved the two towers there. Now let me, I'll go slowly, ignore everything. It's a mess. So those two book shelves were on either side of the center of this entertainment unit. Now this is an Ethan Allen entertainment center and I love the color. I think it looks French country. I just, I just love it. I love the wood tone and everything and it really helps add some balance to the room. But when I had the towers on either side, it was very heavy. And then when I got these recliners plus that sofa, Plus the other sofa, it was just too many conflicting wood tones and browns and all of that stuff. So what I'm trying to do is first figure out my big furniture placement, and then I'm going to bring in a rug and accessories and artwork and all of that and really tie everything together, along with painting a lot of furniture. So those are the two chairs I got I shared in my last video. That little love seat may or may not stay. I like the pattern on it. It adds some interest, but again, it's in that family of colors that's it goes, but it's also sort of conflicting. So I'm not sure about that. I could throw a slip cover on it, which is certainly an option. That coffee table I purchased off Marketplace a while back. It's going to get a makeover finally. I do like having black in the room, but that's just not working here, especially when I get a rug down. That table over there is a thrift store find. I did sand the top and stain it. I need to finish doing the top coats and then paint the bottom. Those are the funky lamps that I got that need touched up or redone. So I do have some mirrors to go on the fireplace and or on, other, on either side. I'll have to show those to you. They're in the garage whenever we decorate. They will need painted because they're like a bright, shiny silver. Um, what else is going to get painted? That plant stand needs to go. I did move the blue couch that was in the kitchen Eden area to here to just break up some of all of this brown and orangey brown that I had going on in here. Let me step back. Oh, that little stand right there I picked up this weekend at an antique store. The top's kind of bent, but I don't care. I just, I liked the legs on it. And I'm really trying to support small businesses right now as they are seeming to struggle. All right, so put the couch there. It has a low back, so when you walk in, it's, it's not blocking the view. So I will do seasonal displays there, family photos, all of that good stuff. I might tuck a coat rack behind the door. I'm not sure. I had one hanging there, some hooks, and I took it down. And on either side, I just put the extra kitchen chairs 
which I'll show you the kitchen in just a second. So I just have random accessories all around here that I will be placing everywhere. But as far as big placement, I'm, I'm leaving this here and this looks a lot better. And as far as like the size and scale in the room, it it's less obtrusive without those side panels. So let me also show you this table. This is going to get painted as well. I love the top. The bottom is cracked, as you can see right there on the left. But it's such a unique piece. I love tiered tables, and that's a nice size. You can put a lamp on top and have plenty of space for drinks or books or your glasses or whatever the case underneath. And I did pull out a couple of summer lanterns that I purchased at Michael's on sale last year and did not use. So I have two of those smaller ones and that large one right there. Here's the other small one. And now at the thrift stores this weekend, I picked up this little brass lamp. This one was $4.50. It needs a cute shade, but I love the size of it. And I will be painting this. This is what really makes it look old and yucky, that little part right there. And then this bird lamp behind that one, I picked up at an antique store, the antique mall type store. I got a, several things there this weekend. I just thought that that was cute. I only paid $18 for the whole thing. Of course, I can switch the shade out seasonally. I did find this shade on, um, I think, eBay or somewhere. Just the shade for $59. And they're, you know, these kind of lamps with the bird shades like that can get kind of pricey. So for $18, I didn't think it was that bad, and I really bought it for the bottom part. can use that all year. I'm trying to get smaller lamps. I actually need some even about half that height. I need some, some little small lamps that I can tuck around for small areas like in here or whatnot where you don't have a lot of space. So I got those, and let me show you what else I picked up. I'll spin around here. Oh, here's a lamp. Uh, that bar stool is just tucked in the hallway, you guys. Just everything's a mess. I'm just trying to share my process along the way so you can kind of see like what my brain goes through when I'm trying to place things and decorate. So this lamp, the shade is trash. It's plastic on the inside and it's busted. Um, I could probably get away with it for a little while. See there, it's really busted right here. So no big deal. I have tons of shades, but the lady was telling me that this was her mother's and her parents had passed away and she had all kinds of stuff from her. Now this is going to need to be rewired. So she took $20 off. I still overpaid for this lamp, I think, but I just, I wanted to give it a good home. And I loved the legs of it. I've never really seen any with legs like this, and I thought they were kind of neat. And it, it's really light, so it doesn't have like a big heavy base, so it will be nice to sit somewhere and not take up a lot of visual space. It's very, it's very thin and dainty. And then, of course, change out that shade. So I picked that up as well. I'm going to tell you right now I have dishes washed over there on the counter. Just don't even look at them. So here in the kitchen, I decided to move that pedestal table back over here with the bar stools. I decided to move the glass top table here with the sofa that was in the living room. There was just too much of that orangey brown, so I thought I needed to sort of sprinkle it around the house visually so it wasn't all in one room. So I moved this into here, and then this way, if I'm cooking or whatever, someone can hang out. If someone wants to lay down, they can, or a couple people can sit there comfortably and still be able to sit your drinks here. and. It just works out. I like the glass here and then that you can see through the table. So you can still see through outside and all the light still comes in. I don't have like a big, bulky, heavy dining room table sitting there. So I think it it works out for us. And let me show you some of the things that I found also at the thrift store. These are the bags that they were in. So these are pomegranates and I picked these up for $3 for the whole bag. Now I already had these two. They're a little bit larger. And so I thought 
for this fall or even even now or even at Christmas that these would be nice to use on a wreath or just in a display and I had some DIY ideas for some of this faux fruit for Christmas I didn't get to do it last year but maybe I will for this year so I got those and then I also picked up five of these books they were from the same lady that said her mother had passed away she had so many things there from her mother's estate and um, they're just these american country books country tr traditions the country kitchen they have really neat photos in i love just looking through magazines it's very relaxing um, you know looking on pinterest is wonderful but there is just something about flipping through an actual magazine and there's just all kind of neat things in here. The main thing I got them for was actually for the color of the spine here because I got that blue picture and this was almost the same color. So I thought I could use these and sort of tie in that blue color elsewhere in a display or around the kitchen or wherever I use these books. So I got five of them and one of them is a Christmas book, which I'm excited about because I love Christmas. I did pick up this ironstone pitcher. This was $9. I cannot remember if I already have one exactly like this. I, I think I had this exact one that I either sold at a yard sale or donated, or it may still be packed up in the garage. Either way, I bought that one. And I got it because I thought it would balance out this little piece right here, this off-white swan planter, because the lines were kind of the same here. I just... The way it's made and the color, I just thought that since I don't have two of these, I thought, you know, it would it could balance out the other one in a display, possibly over my sink or on the counter. So I did pick that up. And yes, you're not going to believe this, but I picked up more furniture off Marketplace. <laughs> I saw these three bar stools and I just loved the legs and the detail. And I've just decided when I see something, I'm going to buy it. If I don't use it or repurpose it or whatever, I can always sell it. But I loved these and I don't really know the manufacturer. The tops are in awful condition, but they were asking a hundred for all three, which is a steal, but I got them for 75. And my thought was I can either use these for plant stands or little side tables. You could even make multiple plant stands out of this that was my husband's suggestion if we did decide not to use them as bar stools either on the screen porch or on the front porch or inside the house or whatever that we could just cut them right there put a topper on that piece and have a little short plant stand and then put a little wood top on the top part as well and have another plant stand or a stool or whatever so there are a lot of options i just really liked the legs and I thought for the price, I mean, they're fine the way they are, but man, would these look pretty painted with a new top on them. And like I said, you know, if I, if I wanted to use them on a porch, I could just coat them with an exterior top coat and use an outdoor fabric. And those would be really cute to sort of sit outside and have a drink or just lunch or something like that. So I, I couldn't pass those up. I really... I like furniture that has interesting legs and a little bit of detail and today it's hard to find that with all the modern style so when I find older furniture some people might call it dated I love it and I try to scoop it up so I was happy to find those let me know what you guys think about these or um, if you have any ideas I'd, I'd love to hear them I also found this little I guess it's a trivet or a coaster um, I don't know, it has this really pretty metal overlay. If you guys know anything about this, let me know. But it was only a dollar. The back is glass. So I thought that would be nice to sit on an end table or coffee table for drinks or whatnot. So I got that. So now what I need to do that all of the large pieces are pretty much in place where I'm going to use them for now, I need to run out to Ace Hardware and get some chalk paint mixed up. They will do custom mixes there for you. I may either get their Rust-Oleum custom mix chalk paint or I'm going to just get a quart of a flat paint and make my own like I like to do. It's a lot cheaper that way. So I'm going to get 
probably a couple of really good neutral colors, like a light neutral, maybe like an, an oatmeal type, type color, like an, not an off white, but a little bit darker than that. So I think I'm going to do some of this furniture in that color. I may change my mind. Um, I have a lot of greens and I have some light blues and things like that, but I just, I really need a good neutral color, maybe a couple of colors to use. And, um, I may need some more stain, but I, I've got to run out and get those colors because I thought I had enough colors on hand and I was digging through my stash and I don't. So I'm going to get those and then I'm going to pick up my order from Walmart and I'm going to get back here and start painting. I really want to get this room pulled together. I do have a busy week this week. A friend of mine is turning 61, so I'm going to travel up there and visit him for his birthday. If I do go in any thrift stores or antique stores up there, I will definitely take you along with me and see what we can find up there. And um, that's all that I really have going on right now. I'm excited to get started. I'm glad that the furniture is finally in place. This piece was so heavy, I had to call my in-laws and have them come help me slide it because my husband had surgery about three weeks ago and he's not allowed to lift anything over 10 pounds. So I was able to move those towers by myself because I put felt on the bottom. So I was able to slide those, but that monster right there, it was not happening. So I just, I needed it moved over like about 16 inches. So they came and helped, helped me do that. And I really appreciated that. So now everything's in place. I need to add all the little small tables and artwork, sconces, mirrors, all that type of fun stuff. So if you'll come see me in my next video, we will be doing all of that decorating. And I should have a lot or all of these pieces painted and I will share those with you as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you liked seeing sort of where I placed the larger pieces of furniture. I know that it's nice to see a whole room makeover all in one video, but I'm just sharing as I go because otherwise I won't have a video up for you guys every few days, you know, or every week. It just, sometimes it takes me a while to get some things done. So that's what, it, that's what I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Well, take care of yourselves. Enjoy this beautiful weather. And I hope you are having fun decorating. I hope you're getting inspired by a lot of creators on YouTube and pictures on Pinterest and just really enjoying decorating and making your house feel like a home and, and getting it ready for all of the fun summer activities. And also, like I said, fall's going to be here before we know it. So fall's my favorite. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to, to decorate this year. So anyway, lots to do and lots to get ready for. So I will see you guys in the next video with some decorating and some paint projects. So until then, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Thank you.